There are several ways to prevent and detect Stack Overflow. The best way to prevent it is to analyze the maximum possible stack depth for your system to prove that Stack Overflow can never happen. To do this, use a tool that analyzes the maximum possible stack depth. Make sure that the tool can account for the worst case nesting of operating system calls and interrupt service routines in its analysis. In addition, it is helpful to use a Memory Management Unit, or MMU, to provide hardware-based memory protection. This can still result in a runtime fault if the stack overflows, but at least it will avoid the problems that can come from corrupting memory that lives beyond the stack. An additional technique you can use is putting stack sentinels in memory when running your software. This idea starts with putting some unusual, predefined constant value in all memory locations allocated to the stack before the program runs. In this example, we filled memory with the value AA44CC33, but any value unlikely to be seen in your executing software will work. Then, when the program executes, it will put other values into stack memory as it uses the stack. Every time a subroutine or interrupt is called, its use of local variables will hit its footprint into the stack changing the sentinel values to something else. When interrupts have completed and subroutines have returned to their calling programs, those values will remain unchanged. You can then periodically check stack memory to see how many sentinel values are left unchanged. If there are fewer remaining sentinel values than you expected, then you know that your stack has gotten bigger than you thought it would and can take some appropriate action to manage the situation. At development time, you might make your stack bigger to leave more spare room. At runtime, you might see that you've consumed more stack than you thought and reset the system or safe the system before memory corruption can spill over the stack boundary and cause even worse failures.